just in time for the hot weather. Being careful around the storms, of course. The 4th of July weekend also coming up. New York City beaches are finally reopened for swimming and sunning. Social distancing rules do apply. CBS 2's Natalie Dudridge live in Coney Island what we all, with what we all need to know. Natalie. Well, hey there, Dana. It sure was a beautiful sunny morning, but we did just hear some thunder rolling in. We're seeing some ominous clouds coming as well, but so far not stopping people from getting into the water for the first time this season. Even we dipped our toes in. It was cold, but refreshing. Beach season is back, but there are some new rules. It's the first swim of the season for Samantha and her little sister, Sylvia and Sophie. It felt good, but I was kind of scared because I saw sand under the ocean. We were waiting for a long time. How long? Like two months. We've been locked up for a long time. From Coney Island in Brooklyn to Orchard Beach in the Bronx, all 14 miles of New York City beaches are finally open for swimming. Lifeguards say it feels good to be back. They'll be on duty daily from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m., but swimming is not allowed before or after those hours. I'm happy to see the lifeguards back. I know for the kids it's important. We're heading in the right direction right now. It ain't over yet. Um, I think it's important for people to realize that. Pay attention to what's going on in Florida, you know, Arizona, California. Not good stuff. Uh, we don't need that here. For that reason, the city is encouraging all beachgoers to follow state guidelines. Keep beach blankets and chairs 10 feet apart. If you're ordering food, only to-go service will be available. Restrooms are open with 50% capacity, but water fountains are closed. You can dig your feet into the sand, catch a wave, or build a sandcastle with a friend, but no big group activities. So we have to be cautious, obviously, but, uh, you know, look at the distance between the people right here. It's much more than three feet and even more than 20. <laughs> Now, the NYPD won't be enforcing the rules, but you could see some officers walking around on the beach along with members of the Parks Department handing out masks, encouraging people to wear them. And, Dana, we're going to see a lot of really nice mask tans this summer. We're live in Coney Island. Natalie Dudridge, CBS 2 I News. did not even think of that. Okay. <laughs> Thank you so much. Uh, that mask tan will be happening at swimming pools, too, Natalie, because three New York City swimming pools will be open for swimming on July 24th, Mulally in the Bronx, Liberty in Queens, and Wagner in Manhattan. Twelve outdoor public pools throughout the five boroughs will open August 1st. The mayor says the pool delay is because of the pandemic, of course, and the city's budget crisis, but the new budget plan includes more than $5 million to pay for lifeguards and other swimming pool staff members.